going on guys? It's Friday, September the 13th, 2013. Happy Friday the 13th. wonder if this date will bring anything. Man, you know, this, this freaking uh, Syria thing, this is going nowhere. Nowhere. I don't know how many people read the uh, A Plea for Caution from Russia piece uh, that ran in the New York Times. Uh, mainstream media has been all over it. You really want to have a read through it. Uh, I didn't read through this until after I shot my last video, or I would have covered it in my last video. Uh, I can't disagree with a lot of the stuff in here. And, you know, that'll be the first link. Second link will be Putin warns U.S. not to launch attack in Syria, to back that one up from The Guardian. And from USA Today, Obama team fires back at Putin op-ed on Syria. Uh, goes into talking about the United States and how we're an exceptional nation. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute Mr. President. Wait a minute. Let me remind everyone... There's a video here on YouTube called I'm Not Moving, short film Occupy Wall Street. Now, I know some people don't hold the Occupy Wall Street thing in high regard, but that doesn't take away from the credibility of this video because it's a bunch of different clips from all over the place about how the United States uh, so-called wants to spread freedom and democracy around the planet, but if you watch this video, you can see what we do to our own people here. So, uh, Obama, Mr. Emperor, you ain't got no clothes. I'll put a link to this video just to remind people. Uh, now, the Syria thing, chemical weapons deal, is going nowhere. And I'm going to give you a bunch of links to back that up. Kerry rejects Assad's 30-day timetable. Assad said he's going to join the chemical weapons uh, deal, but he wants 30 days to disclose what he's got. Uh, Kerry says no. I understand Kerry's still over there talking to his Russian counterpart, whatever. Uh, from the Times of Israel, Assad says U.S. must stop military threats and Israel must sign WMD treaties. Uh, no and hell no. Do you really think that's going to happen? It would be great if it did, but do you really think? Now, Obama might not have the balls to fire that first missile, but do you think we're going to return all of our military, pull everyone out of the med? I don't see that happening. As far as Israel giving up something, well, what do you think? You think they're going to do it? I'll put this link. I got another one here. Assad says, we'll start handing over our chemical weapons when the U.S. stops arming Syrian rebels. Well, funny you should say that, because that's not happening either. Next, post from, next uh, link from the Washington Post, U.S. weapons reaching Syrian rebels. I reported on this yesterday. Here's another link to back it up. And another one here, U.S. considering using military to train Syrian rebels. This come out on September 5th, 2013. Let's think about that. U.S. considering military to train Syrian rebels. Now, what rebels are we talking about here? Uh, because Yahoo News reports, McCain says rebels fighting Assad feel abandoned by U.S. Well, how can that be? We're going to be giving them training. We're giving them weapons. How do they feel abandoned? Let's just take a look at these so-called rebels we're supporting. Al-Qaeda rebels. The same group that allegedly attacked us on 9-11, if you believe the official story. I mean, hello, we're now giving these people training and weapons. This from Red Flag. Take a look at the people we're giving training and weapons to. Syrian execution by Obama's rebels. Warning. Graphic. Take a look. These are the people we're helping. I'll put a link to it. Got another one from CNN. Assad moving chemical weapons. Now, it's being reported that Assad moving chemical weapons to Iraq and Lebanon. Syria opposition says. Not that I would trust what the opposition says, but... Uh, excuse me, Syria is going to enter into some sort of disclosure agreement, and uh, at the same time it's reported that they're moving chemical weapons? Do you really think this is going to work? Got one more here from CNN. Satellite images. Now, Lil' Kim over in North Korea. Let's, let's just shift gears a minute. Lil' Kim over in North Korea is feeling left out. He's no longer center stage anymore because we got all this other stuff going on. So, satellite images suggest North Korea's nuclear reactor restarted. This came out yesterday. I don't know if he's just looking for attention or what. Just interesting to take note of in the, in the midst of the fog of everything else going on. I'm telling you, the deal with Syria, 
they're just buying time. And like I said in my last video, it could have just been a joke between uh, Putin and Assad to mess up Obama's speech that he was going to give to the nation. I definitely don't see it working out. Not that I want to see World War III. I don't want to see anybody bombed. But take a look at all the links I'm posting below. You tell me how you think it's going to work out. Your thoughts? Please rate this video. Please pass the information around. It still could be just a matter of hours before we see a strike. I truly hope not. But I definitely don't see it working out. You guys have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.